Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome to ECW, where it sounds like the entrance music still doesn't work. Still no update to this game, but ladies and gentlemen, it is the franchise Shane Douglas. He is back, don't know what the jacket's all about, don't remember that, but he is back man, back in ECW, another man who tried to go on to bigger and better things, but the WWE did not know how to use him. But the franchise is here, man. Shane Douglas. We've seen a couple of returns. We had Guilty as Charged was this past Sunday. Hope you all caught it, man. The first episode of ECW, man. It's views and likes, man. They're giving WCW and WWF something to run with. But Shane Douglas, man. Back in the ECW arena. And, oh well, this one's got music. Maybe Shane Douglas doesn't have any music. Ladies and gentlemen, if you watched ECW, you know who this big bitch is. Roadkill. This big man is not afraid to fly. <laughs> he'll jump off the top rope. He'll jump over the top rope. He's got a funny looking face. Well, Roadkill welcoming Shane Douglas back. TCW and ladies and gentlemen tonight if you remember that Guilty is charged to Jiri won the three way dance he will face the new TV champion Sabu but that match has been added to as Rob Van Dam has demanded his rematch for his championship and he is not waiting so ladies and gentlemen three way dance to main event the show and well, well Shane Douglas showing a bit of respect that's rare. Don't remember his hair ever been that long. Well, here, my God, look at Roadkill's face. And boom! Shane Douglas with a draw. Kick him in the face. Kick him harder than that, man. You need to kick him till he's pretty. And Shane, man, he is all over. Roadkill looks like he's had his face smashed in. Well, the show just started. We are outside the ring and we've got a stacked, packed, locked cock show ready tonight. Into the steel steps. Oh, and again, it is the land of extreme, people. This is how we roll. As Roadkill, though, sends Shane Douglas back into the ring. Shane Douglas, of course. Former ECW champion. Done that legendary promo. When he won the ECW Eastern Championship Wrestling. That was some move there. He won that championship. The NWA Championship where he delivered a legendary promo. Where he threw that championship to the ground. And told the NWA they could kiss his ass. And he declared himself the ECW Champion. And he is back here now. And he is uh, in definite control, man. That's for damn sure. He was over in the WWF. Won the Intercontinental Championship. Only for backstage politics to have it taken off him after one day. As uh, what's he doing here? And Oh, lovely suplex there. And oh, he's holding on. And another one. And Shane Douglas, man, showing he is back. Good God, man, Shane Douglas is looking good. And well, the crowd, they're on his side. As he's waiting for him to get to his feet here. And could it be a Pittsburgh plunge? Up! Down he goes, man! The Pittsburgh plunge to the big man, Roadkill. Whose face looks like Roadkill. And Shane Douglas, the franchise, is back. Winning ways. Back in ECW. He is here. Look at that, man. The Pittsburgh plunge. Slams 
Slamming him down. Big roadkill man taken down. And Shane Douglas looking quite happy as well they shook hands at the start of the match. As he's helping roadkill up. That's good. And oh what the hell? He just drop kicked him right back down. And Shane Douglas scoops him up to his feet and there's the belly belly. And the referee man, nothing much else he can do. As Shane Douglas, he's going to go for it again. He's got him up in the Pittsburgh plunge. And Shane Douglas, well, so much for shaking hands at the start of the match. It's also like Shane Douglas is back. Ladies and gentlemen, what is next for Shane Douglas? What is he here for? What is his main goal? Guess we'll find out. Well, let's get this team out here, I guess. Make awesome Bam Bam Bigelow. I was going to call them the awesome Bam, which technically that would suit the two of them. These two men. They're back in ECW. They left WCW. And they've came back here. And they've just went after people. Guilty as charged this past Sunday. The Sandman. Mike Awesome Bam Bam got involved. Let's not forget with Stevie Richards though, man. Stevie Richards took it to Bam. Absolutely took it to him. And ladies and gentlemen, tonight it will be Stevie Richards and the Sandman teaming up for a little bit of tag team action. And well, there's the Blue World Order, the BWO. And the blue meaning, energetic as always, fireworks do not exist in ECW. Did I set fire to the building if they bloody used them? Well, big Stevie Cool, he will be teaming with a Sandman and Hollywood Nova and the bad guy, the blue meaning. And these guys, well, they're waiting for their tag team partner. It will be Big Stevie Cool, Stevie Richards. Let's get him out here. Ignore that logo. And there he is, making his way through the crowd. It is the Sandman. Well... He got put through a table that Guilty is charged. The Sandman is standing up for ECW here. He doesn't want Mike Awesome back here. The fans don't want him back here. What he did when he left ECW to go to WCW, taking their world championship. Well, with some tag team action. There's a big Stevie Cool. Him and Bam Bam fought all the way up to the entrance way after having a confrontation. As look at Stevie. Take nothing away from Stevie Richards, man. Always a very underrated talent, in my opinion. Mike Wasselbach was actually was actually very good when he was in ECW. He was actually quite underrated in WCW. As oh. What's he doing here? Got that leg caught in. Oh, ho, ho, what a suplex, man. Mr. Mullet showing what he can do. And oh, big right hand by Mike Awesome. And Awesome. Mike Awesome and Bam Bam Bigelow, man. That is a, that is a team up right there. And 
Oh, the jawbreaker. And, man, look at Big Stevie. Cool, man. He's taking it to him. And he makes a tag, man. The Sandman wants in. The Sandman wants Mike Awesome. Up onto the middle rope. And... Oh, <laughs> the Sandman. Throwing himself onto Mike Awesome. The crowd watching on, man. We've got title on the line tonight. We've also got a non-title rematch from Guilty as Charge. Taz has laid out the challenge to Rhino. What will happen in that match, man? They will be meeting shortly. And Sandman just puts him over the ropes. And brings him back in. And, oh, Mike Awesome caught him, though. And... Good! Go right over the top rope. And Mike Awesome gets a tag. He was just wanting that chance. That big light's in the bloody way. And they're back in the ring now. But big Bam Bam. And oh, Sandman caught him, man. Flatting him with a bulldog. Look at Bam Bam Bigelow quickly rolling out of the ring. Sandman's having problems. Come on, Bam Bam. Get your ass up. There we go. Back to... Oh, big front roll there. He's got him on the outside of the ring and... Oh! Concrete floor. That is a concrete floor. There ain't no ring mats in ECW. And good God. And oh, ho, 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 one move to take. I wouldn't even take that as a bump. Oh, Mini making his way around there. And Sandman needs to make a tag. That is some hits he just took in the outside. And Sandman, though, able to slide out. Punch to the back of the head. As he scoops behind a reverse DDT. Sandman should really be making a tag right now. And oh no, he's getting... Good God, man. Right into Bam Bam there. He's putting him into the corner. Try and get the tag here. There it is. And so we're going to see some double teaming. Good God, the strength of the Sandman. And Stevie takes him out. And look at Bam Bam who quickly rolled and made a tag. And, oh, Stevie was ready for him, though. He was ready for him. And Mike Awesome. Hitting out of it, though. Bam Bam Bigelow, man. Got wet. And, oh, he missed him completely. Oh, big drop kick by the big man. Can't believe the strength of the Sandman. He lift Bam Bam up on his shoulders like that. Great teamwork with Sandman and... Big Stevie Cool, Stevie Richards, Mike Awesome rolling at the outside. And, well, welcome back to ECW. He's got a bat. And Mike Awesome's trying to get away from him. As he pulls the bat away from him. And, oh, Stevie hits him. Sends him into the guardrail. ECW, there's no count outs. There's no disqualifications. This is the land of extreme. As and Mike Awesome. Laying in Sandman watching on. I'm surprised that the other two are staying in their tag positions. Usually when the matches erupt. And oh god off the ring post. Well, Mike Awesome in control now as Bam Bam's back up. Where the hell's... And... Oh! Nobody home! Nobody home. Mike Awesome just faced as... Oh! Big Stevie Cool takes him down! Into the cover! Could this do it? And Mike Awesome, though, pushes him off. 
And oh, big shot to the head. And oh, could we be getting the Stevie? No, very wise. Very wise there. Rolling to the outside. Stevie Richards, man. He looked like he was calling for the Stevie kick. Wait a minute. He's turned his attention. But oh, bam, bam. With a big right hand. And oh, down goes Bigelow. Mike, awesome, man. Stevie's letting him get his... The Sandman doesn't seem to care. But oh, wait, he's been caught. Is Bam Bam trying to get him back into the ring by the looks of it here. And a low cheap shot by Bam Bam Bigelow. As now off the ropes, he throws him up in the air. Power bomb! There's all types and versions of the awesome bomb. And that is just another one. As here he goes now. I'll point it then. No, oh, Stevie able to roll out of it. He was trying to land him there. That first power bomb it wasn't quite the awesome bomb. As and Mike Awesome drops him in the top rope. Missed him with that boot. As Stevie. Sends him into the corner. Stevie's watching. And oh, big elbow. Big lariat ducked. Hey, I think Stevie went for a big one as well there. Didn't quite have the same impact though. As awesome. Got the arms. And oh, what a toss, man. Right across the ring. Now this time it's Stevie that rolls to the outside. Now you think the Sandman would be getting involved a bit more, but apparently not. As Bigelow's tagged back in. Well, that's both men almost got it, man, when Stevie went for the, the Stevie kick. Awesome rolled out of the ring. And then Stevie Richards was able to arm drag his way out of the awesome bomb. Stevie Richards though gets an elbow in there, gets Bam Bam Bigelow back into the ring. And just kicks the big man right back down again. There's a big size difference here. I mean Stevie's a big guy, don't get me wrong, in height. But when it comes to width, I think Bam Bam might have him beat. Ah, he's, oh god, Bigelow's got him up. He's got him up. Oh god, just like that, he just dropped him. He drags him right over to their corner. As he goes in for the cover. Sandman's still able to get there and break it up. But look at all. Awesome! Drops the Sandman. And oh god, Bam Bam. Bam Bam Bigelow's up high. He's up high. And it's the Moonsault Connect! Sandman's out! And oh god, the awesome Bams actually went and done it. Very good showing from Stevie Richards. That's big slam here, man. Right here, this is when he went for the... He landed that first power bomb, not quite the awesome bomb. But Stevie was able to get out of the awesome bomb, that arm drag there. And then right here, man, he dropped him. Sandman was able to break up the pin. But then Awesome took out Sandman and that moonsault connected. And that is a big man to take a moonsault from. And Mike Awesome and Bam Bam Bigelow, their first night as a team. And they got the victory. These two men have came back to ECW with nothing but pure disrespect. Alright, time for the non-title rematch.
Taz and Rhino. They are going to go at it again. Major nut shot, apparently. <laughs> Keep forgetting about the. To be fair, that's whoever made it, so I'm happy to leave those there. That way, if anybody wants to see who it is, they can go and look for them. Technically, a WWE version, a WWF version. Taz wanted a rematch. He's got the rematch, but it's not for the title. But if he can get a win here tonight, he'll definitely put himself back in line for it. But there's the champ. And well, and Rhino. Apparently doesn't know how to hold on. Right, great start, by the way. This is great. And Rhino charging to the ring. As Taz. And there they are, into the ring. And, oh, he put the belt right off his dome. As Rhino goes right into the cover. Rhino just took Taz out like he's a tall bitch. <laughs> How did that even happen? How did that work? I swear to God, that is the AI that was controlling Taz. Just rattled him once with a title belt and took him out. Oh my God, Rhino. Rhino didn't want to give him a rematch. He gave him the rematch. And down went Taz. This, wait, 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 wait. It's Shane Douglas. It's Shane Douglas. What's Shane Douglas doing out here? He's attacking the... He's attacking the champion. He's attacking the champion. And Shane Douglas. And Shane Douglas. Oh, the super. We saw this earlier tonight in his match with Roadkill. Shane Douglas is back, and he's attacking, he's attacking Rhino, he's attacking our champion. As, good God, man. And Shane Douglas now, with Rhino, up the Pittsburgh plunge. And Shane Douglas has just attacked Rhino. Rhino with the upset of the century. But Shane Douglas, Shane Douglas just took Rhino out. He just took out the champ. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after the antics that just happened, I mean, what the hell? Well, here comes little Spike. And the, the Dugleys again! Trying to attack the little brother! And this is just like the pay per view, man. Like, guilty is charged! And Devon going to get Spike. I'm going to get New Jack as Spike is down. And down goes New Jack! Well, New Jack coming out to try and help his little buddy. And Spike, who fell back down again. And... Oh, God. Oh, Spike, man. The Dudleys. Bubba Ray and Devon D. Determined to take out. Absolutely determined to take out. The little brother. We've got a table set up on the outside here. And Jesus! And Bubba just ran through everybody. There's New Jack. And down goes Bubba. Like 
And <laughs> look at Spike and New Jack. And man, oh man. And oh, watch out for New Jack. Watch out for Spike. Oh, the table broke. And oh, down goes New Jack. And New Jack is being pummeled with a steel chair. And down he goes. Eyes, look at Bob inside the ring. Oh! And Bubba man slapping the canvas. As the Bubba cut right in the steel chair. New Jack man is out cold. As Bubba. With another table. And Spike just gets slammed. And poor old man. New Jack's out. And Spike shoots up to his feet, but oh god! And this is it, man. They just want to destroy their little brother. They just want to break him in half. Poor little Spike. There's nothing he can do. As he's being absolutely pulverized with a steel chair. And come on. God, man, he can barely, he can barely stand. He's been absolutely destroyed right now, man. Spike is just. Spike is trying, man. He's trying. And Bubba, God, just slammed him, man. And look at Devon. And look at Bubba, man, he's having some fucking stupid retard problems. That's it, that's fucking great, mate. You be that fucking stupid. I really hate that you can't just put them into a table in this game. <laughs> really bugs the shit out of me. Look this simplest goddamn thing. And well, <laughs> Devon just got decked. Oh my god, this game. Well, little Spike is being li literally bullied. Wow, man, seriously. Wow, man. <laughs> they cannot even throw someone. Still 
The retardedness of this game is unbelievable at times, man. It's always the simplest thing that never works, you know that? Always that. It's always the simplest thing. Well, Spike, we're a little reversal there. I know, he got caught by Bubba, though. He's been caught by Bubba. And, oh! He dropped him. And Bubba again, this time on the outside. As Bubba, oh, through the table. Power bomb right through the table. And, oh, Devon. And, oh, God! And little Spike's been demolished. New Jack's out cold. He gets smashed into a chair. And the Dudley boys laying a message here tonight. They want to destroy Spike. They want to kill Spike. See, we never actually got any highlights of that one there. I mean, look at this big one here. Bang, right through it. We only have four highlights. How does that work? Oh, well. I don't quite get that. Oh, well, we don't get to see New Jack getting bubba cuttled into a steel chair. Well, ladies and gentlemen, man. Hell of an attack, man. Spike left lying. New Jack tried to help. But the... ECW Tag Team Champions are Dudley Boys. They weren't Cairn. They've laid them out again. Well, alright, it's main event time. It's title time. And here comes the former television champion. But Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam, he demanded his rematch. He told Paul Heyman, I want my rematch. I want it tonight. He was pretty much trying to get Tajiri pushed out of the opportunity that he earned this past Sunday at Guilty as Charged. Heyman told him, you can have your rematch then. But Tajiri's still in. It is a three-way dance, people. Tajiri won one of these to get this shot. Well, here comes Tajiri. This man defeated Lance Storm and Jerry Lynn. And a three-way dance to get to this. RVD, the longest reigning television champion of all time. Held it for two years. He is determined to get it back. But they need to get it off the new champion. Ladies and gentlemen, he is Sabu. He's homicidal, he's genocidal, he's suicidal. He's got the battle scars to prove it. Ladies and gentlemen, Sabu. About to make his first title defense here tonight. He only won it this past Sunday. Well, Rob Van Dam wants it back.
It's a three-way dance. Elimination rules. And look at Rob Van Dam rolling to the outside. Well, Rob Van Dam, very cocky his time in ECW. It's Rob Van Dam. And he's just letting these guys go at it here. Oh, he's under the ring. Tajiri, though, coming after him. He's got the Kendall stick, though, and took out both men with one swing. TV title on the line. Both men just sitting out right now. Oh, God. And, oh, right in the dome. And Tajiri, though, takes it off him. No, how does he like it? It's Tajiri. Puts him against the ropes here. Over the top. And Rob Van Dam goes, oh my God, he bounced off the apron. Remember what I says, it's three-way dance, it's elimination rules, it's Tijiri. And takes down RVD. It's Tijiri, man, scoops Sabu right up, man. And going to drop him hanging on the top rope. Sabu shoves him off. He's got that Kendall stick in hand again. And trust Sabu. Straight for a table. And. Oh, the monkey flip. As RVD. Good God. And RVD now snaps him down. And RVD turning him around here as Rob Van Dam rolling Thunder Connect. Tajiri though caught him there. And Oh, right in the cup buster. And oh, Rob Van Dam sees he's got the Kendall stick. He's out. And oh, Sabu. And oh, lovely man. Vintage. Vintage RVD. He waited for Tajiri there. As the five star frog splash connects. He caught him with that back kick. As he hooks the leg of Tajiri. And oh, Tajiri not giving up so easy. He kicked out with the five star splash. Oh my god, can you actually believe he kicked out of that? Sabu just pounces on RVD. Oh my god, can you believe Tajiri kicked out? And the snap DDT. I am in shock. And Sabu this time, the one with the kick out. Oh my god, man. How did Tajiri kick out? He is that determined. That determined to win it tonight.
Uh, good God, RVD's pulling out a ladder. As to Jimmy. And, oh, watch out, RVD! Baki's head went right off the table! No! Oh. Tajiri though, Irish whip comes back. And good God. And Sabu crawling about the ring. And Sabu just crawled into a pin. A kick out there. As. Oh! Rob Van Dam now. And. RVD going to try and land this rolling thunder a second time. Let's look at Tajiri. And oh, still nothing. Oh, Tajiri with a kick. And oh, oh, and the ladder. It's Tajiri. Oh, Sabu though reverses it through. Back elbow by Tajiri. As Tajiri grabs him. Snap DDT. Tajiri though not finished. And Tajiri. And oh, right through the table in the corner. Drop kicked him right through. But Sabu still refusing. Uh, responding to the Twitch chat, um, I think I've got about a roster of about 24, 23 people. As RVD comes in behind and RVD rolls up to Jimmy again out of nowhere. But oh, still to Jimmy. And into the cover he goes. And oh, to Jimmy. Squashed there. Jesus, man, RVD is taking it here. As RVD up. But, oh, Sabu out of it. And now Sabu the one with a snap suplex. It's Tajiri, man. But, oh, wait, caught. And, oh, right into the rubble. The rubble of that table. And... Sabu, oh, he's looking for it. The camel clutch. And it's locked in. Can Tajiri take it? Can he take it? Is it too much? It's too much. Tajiri's out. And Tajiri is out. That leaves two men. And, oh, God. As oh Sabu though, oh the big, big elbow there. These men still going at it here. And, oh the super kick there, right to the gut. And, oh god. And Tajiri man, unlucky winning that three-way dance this past Sunday. Jesus man, chair off the gut. Rob Van Dam wants his title back. Oh, ho, 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 ho. he's down. And man, RVD. And RVD throws the chair at him. And oh, there's a Van Terminator. Oh. 
having some serious retard problems here. And again, <laughs> Sabu reverses. And Sabu sends RVD into the ring. And oh, Sabu. He's pointing up. And oh, God, he just took out Tajiri. Is he going to take out RVD as well? He's got it locked in. But no, oh, he's up. And oh god, that was almost, almost that ladder. As RVD, oh god, just dropped his legs on that ladder. But it's this split-legged moonsault connect. Oh, no, I just set the fucking thing up, you tit. Oh, we've got a ladder set up in the ring. And oh, over into that kick. Throws him, pulls him back, catches him with a calf kick. And he's got the chair in hand. He's waiting for Sabu to get to his feet. Sabu's up and he throws him the chair and oh connected again who he just gets up like fuck all happened and oh good god both men are up in the ladder both men are up in the ladder it's oh he threw him off Sabu shot up like it was nothing Oh man, both men, RVD, you've got to think, take the guess he was thinking, five star. Oh, back up there, and oh, the heel kick. How the hell did Sabu shoot up like that? And oh god, another chair shot. And, oh, well, I guess it's not possible to climb a ladder and do a move in this game. That's safe to say. And, oh! So he brings him back. Coming forward. And RVD scoops him up. And, oh, Sabu out of it! And now, Sabu! Oh, Northern Light Suplex! And, oh! <laughs> RVD's feeling a bit more tired now. And again, though, Sabu is moving. How do you move so quickly like that? Oh, no, no, no. It's RVD. Again! <laughs> And RVD's on that ladder. And again he moves. He moved again. And Sabu. Getting up to his feet here. And oh, he jumped anyway. He jumped anyway. He's lying on that steel chair. I could have sworn I had a finisher. Apparently not. And oh, 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 God, how does it end? RVD determined to win his belt back. Now rolling thunder for the third time to Sabu. 
And again he goes up that ladder. He's already jumped off at once. Oh, come on. Finish a five-star frog splash off the ladder. And he hooks the leg. And Rob Van Dam wins his television championship back. Man. Sabu kicked out of a lot. Hell, Tajiri kicked out of a lot. The three-way dance. There was a first rolling thunder. Tajiri, man, kicking out of a five-star frog splash. I thought Tajiri was out. I thought Sabu was out. I thought Tajiri got him with that spike DDT. There's so much back and forth. Sabu took out Tajiri, man. Made him tap. But a five-star frog splash off the top of a ladder. And Rob Van Dam, who lost that championship merely days ago at the Guilty as Charged pay-per-view, wins it back tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, that was our main event match, but I'm hearing... Apparently we're not quite finished yet. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I thought the show was over, but apparently not, because we are being joined by Raven. He was on the losing end at Guilty as Charged. God, look at that face. Not pretty. A face only a blind mother could love. Alright, I'm feeling a little heated right now, so I'm going to get right to the point. I want to talk about Tommy Dreamer. You, you know the one I'm talking about. The guy who has never beaten me. One, He's never pinned me in any match. Even last Sunday at Guilty as Charged, he still didn't beat me. It was Terry Funk who pinned Just Incredible. I still didn't lose. But I'm done with Tommy Dreamer. It's Rhino I want. I want my deserved shot. I want the ECW World Championship. Well, apparently not. There's Tommy Dreamer. And it sounds like Raven was actually calling out Rhino, but after earlier tonight, I think Rhino might have his hands full with the franchise, Shane Douglas. And Tommy Dreamer, Raven. A rivalry that goes so far back. Such probably one of the most legendary ECW rivals. Before you go any further, you and me have got something that needs to be cleared up before you even think about going after the ECW title. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't come out here and interrupt me. I'm in the middle of something important right now. Way more important than whatever it is you've got to say, Tommy. I'm done with you, Tommy. I've beaten you. Every time I've faced you. I just want to say, I do know you can, that you do beat me all the time. I know I've not been able to beat you, charity work, really. I mean, I will admit, I respect what you do in the ring, Raven, but I don't respect how you do it. And the truth is, Raven, I need to beat you. I need to defeat you. Okay, obviously you want to start something. You've got a problem with me still. You've been offended by something. It was me who was offended by you, Tommy. We go all the way back. It was you who offended me. Now we're older. Now we're bigger. And you can't beat me. I'm the bully now. I'm the one at the top. And you can't beat me. 
I came out here because I know I can. I want you, Raven. Me and you, one on one, one more time. Me and you, I need to prove I can beat you. And oh, cheap shot by Raven. And Tommy. Right back onto him, sends him off the ropes. And oh, Tommy Dreamer went through him. Well, I'm not quite sure if that was, you know, challenge accepted there. As Raven, oh, drops him down. And God, why am I not surprised that these guys are going at it again? Just constant fighting between these guys. And God, they're actually having quite their, their wrestling moves here. And Raven and Tommy Dreamer, this rivalry between these guys. As it looks like Raven might have the upper hand right now. As the officials are in the ring, they're trying to split this as best they can. And this fight isn't over, man. These two are still going at it here. These two are still brawling away. The officials, man, they don't know what to do. And oh, Tommy though over the back. Look at the referee. Trying to get through to them. Tommy Dreamer wants one last chance. One last chance to prove that he can beat him. And he fires him off the ring post. He wants to prove. Prove that he can pin him. Take him down. And these men... Having a very slow fight. As Raven now with a shot right to the arm. And God sends him into the rail. And again. As, oh, Dreamer, elbow. And oh, down goes Raven. Oh, man. These two just fighting. And again. Good God. Ow. And now. And go again, man. Jesus. And Raven, man. Just smashing him. Oh, he just beat the hell out of him onto that guardrail there. And now in the ring and Raven. As Raven. Going to the outside of the ring. He's got a steel chair in hand. And oh, down goes the official. Dreamer will try to go up to his feet here. Raven, man, he's saying he's had enough of Dreamer. He doesn't need to prove anything anymore. He's... Raven says he's the one that got revenge. As look at Tommy, though, fighting back. As only Tommy can, man, the heart and soul of ECW. But, oh, down he goes again. And man, and Raven. And now Tommy, big bulldog of his own. As he rolls to the outside. See, oh, caught him on the outside there. Takes him down. And now it's Tommy, man. These two are just having a fight here, man. The officials don't really know what to do. As Dreamer's got him up in the rail. And Tommy takes him down. Tommy, man, sending him back into the ring. 
And whoa, scoops behind. And a Russian leg sweep. And Raven. Taunting for everybody to see. And Raven. He's got him. Danny plants him. Raven man, that's this rivalry between these guys. It just keeps going. And Tommy man, he stopped the chair. As old Tommy go for a little DDT of his own. And Tommy, man, they just don't stop. Oh, God. And Dreamer now. He's got Raven up. And. Oh, the Death Valley driver. And. And look up at the entranceway. It's just incredible. A door chop lock. And Tommy now. Thanks to Just Incredible. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is he doing? What is he doing? And Jesus Christ. Are you kidding me on? He picks him back up and... Oh, good God! You just... He just dropped Tommy and... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh! Good God! Planted him in the chair! Just incredible man, Raven! Tommy Dreamer landing the Death Valley driver on him there. I was going to, can't really say, had him beat. Tommy Dreamer man, the heart and soul. Raven's daring him to get up, but there's no way he's getting up, man. He's out. He is absolutely out. He's daring him to get up, but he... How? He just smashed a chair in his throat. These two having an absolute brawl out here. So he landed this DDT. He dared him to get back up, and he did. By God, did Tommy get back up. But, man... Smashed him right in that chair. And Tommy Dreamer said he wanted Rhino. And wait a minute. Oh my god, Tommy's getting up. Tommy's getting up. What is wrong with you, Dreamer? What is wrong with you? And wait a minute, the official! He's got the official! Oh! And now he goes, he goes for Dreamer! Oh my god, man. This is ridiculous, man. This is unreal. The hell is he supposed to do?
And oh, dream on, man. You need to stop standing, you dumbass. And Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Tommy Dreamer is out. He has been slammed in that neck too many times. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to go all the way through this again. That DDT, man. Dreamer actually got back up. Raven dared him to get back up. Now look at this one. Right in the chair again. It's not even letting us show you the replay of what happened in the other one. That is just unbelievable, man. Absolutely unbelievable. I don't think we're going to see the second one, are we? No, we are not. So, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Tommy Dreamer, man. The attendants are all over him right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this was ECW. Shane Douglas attacked Rhino. We saw Taz lose in a very quick fashion. <laughs> Raven may have just taken Tommy Dreamer out. Ladies and gentlemen, like, share and subscribe. ECW is doing well, even compared to Raw as War and Nitro. <laughs> it is doing, doing equally as good, if not better. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Thanks for the likes and the comments. Keep them coming. Show me which shows are the best. You tell me what you want to see. And we'll make it happen. You asked for Shane Douglas in the comments. You got him. Ladies and gentlemen, like, share and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.